Good afternoon. I'm librarian Megan and thank you for joining me for another Make It Monday. So I am here at the Chicago Public Library and I am part of the STEAM team. So here at the Chicago Public Library, we are starting with our summer learning challenge. Start with art. So if you are participating and already registered for the summer learning challenge, this counts as one of your do somethings. And if you're not, you can always register at your local branch or online at shypublib.org. So you might be wondering, Librarian Megan, what is STEAM and what is the STEAM team? So STEAM is an acronym. So that just means a fancy word where each letter in the word is actually another word. And so it's just the first letter in each of those words. So like science, technology, engineering, art, and math. So STEAM. So you can tell by our name that we really like art. And but we also like the other letters in STEAM. So we're going to actually combine those letters and do a art project that also involves science. So today we are going to be combining some art and some science. So the type of science we are gonna be talking about today is the science of bubbles. Now, bubbles actually have three layers. They're kind of like a sandwich. So the bread of our bubble is a layer of soap on the top and a layer of soap on the bottom. And our middle layer, our filling, our PB&J is water. So now when we see a bubble, do bubbles have col a color? Well, it might look like they're rainbow colored, but it's actually an illusion. So in fact, bubbles are clear. But the reason that they look rainbow colored is because of how the soap causes light to interact with the water in the bubble. And it causes that light to split apart. So light is white, but when we split it apart and it fractures, it fractures into different colors. So it makes what we call a prism. And bubbles also like to be round, but they also like to clump together. So when they clump together, they clump together in groups of four along a flat surface, which we will see more in our experiment. Okay, so for this experiment, you are going to need some containers. I'm using plastic cups. You're going to need paint. You can also use food coloring if you don't have paint at home. I'm using tempera paint. You'll need some soap. Now, if I'm making bubbles and I have soap, what else am I gonna need? That's right, I'm going to need some water. I'm going to need a straw. I'm going to need, this is a little hard to see, I'm going to need a push pin. I'm going to need something to measure everything with this. So I'm using a 1 8 cup. You could, use, you could also use uh, tablespoons. This is about two tablespoons. And then you will also need some paper. All right, let's get started. Okay. All right, so to start, we are going to take our straw and our push pin. And you might want an adult to help you with this. I'm an adult, so I get to do this all by myself. But this is just so you don't stick yourself with the push pin. So you are just going to poke a hole. And it is a little hard because since the straw is cylindrical in shape, it is a little hard to get it. Um, so it could slip and hurt you. So you're just gonna poke a hole in your straw. And the reason you're doing this is so that in case you accidentally suck uh, the fluid up, it is, will prevent you from actually getting any of the paint soap solution in your mouth, which would be gross. All right, so next I am going to take my cup. I'm gonna take, I'm not gonna take my blue paint since I have a blue tablecloth. I'm gonna take my green paint and I'm going to take my soap and my measuring cup. And I'm going to use equal parts soap and paint. So like I said before, I'm just gonna use an eighth of a cup of each of these. 
but you can do however much or as little as you want. All right, nice good squeeze of paint. I'm gonna put that in. All right, and same thing with my sand. Actually, going to use an extra piece of paper to put this down on so I don't make a mess. And I'm going to actually just use my straw to mix that together a bit. All right. So I have my paint, I have my soap, but can I make bubbles with this? I mean, I guess I could make some bubbles like if I was blowing milk bubbles, but they're not going to stay because I don't have my water. All right. So I said we were going to use equal parts of the paint and the soap, but we are going to use three. So for each part, paint or soap, we're going to use three parts water. So I'm going to use three. One, two, and three. All right. And I'm going to use my straw and I'm going to mix that up and you can already see the bubbles forming. Can you see those bubbles? All right. So next, move this to the side. And now friends, have you ever blown bubbles in your milk and maybe you got in trouble for doing it? Well, today, you get to blow bubbles in your solution and you're not gonna get in trouble for it, okay? So we're gonna start by blowing some bubbles, okay? And I want you to have your paper at the ready, all right? So I'm going to go. All right, see how my bubbles are sticking together and clumping together? It's hard to tell that they're in groups of four. They're probably in multiples of four right now. All right, and now I'm gonna take my water, my paper, and I'm gonna put it over my bubbles. And voila! And we can keep doing that. You can wait for your bubbles to pop. This is actually a better example of how those bubbles clump together. You can keep doing that with one color or you can do another one. Why don't we do another one? Let's do, let's do some blue. Good. Next, I'll show you another way we can do this so that you're not just blowing the bubbles up high and then covering it. You can also just cover it right from the start and go like this. It gets you a more dense look. So you can do it however you like. I kind of like the first one a bit better. Or you can mix them. And the great news is you can do it however you see fit because there are no wrong answers in art. 
Well, thank you so much for joining me for another Make It Monday. And just a reminder to register for the Summer Learning Challenge. Start with art at your local branch of the Chicago Public Library or on our website at shypublive.org. Thank you again so much, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye, friends.